the grass finally starting to green up, and that means a lot of us have been out working in our gardens and on our lawns. Now let's check in with Fox Lines Rob Olson. Now, Rob, it sounds like you maybe got some tips today to help our lawns be as healthy as possible through these summer months. Yeah, and look how green everything has gotten in such a short amount of time, which of course happens in May. Now, if you're taking part in no mow May, which has become a uh, very popular, trendy thing to do, the advice we got today is, well, that's probably not good for the long-term health of your lawn. More on that in a minute. But in that same vein, the advice is to not overdo it on your lawn either. A little bit of work right now can actually go a long way. So once we start getting these a little bit warmer uh, air and soil temperatures, plants are really responding to that. The explosion of green as we head deeper into May is always visually striking. And if that pushes you into full yard warrior mode, the advice is pace yourself. You know, I think you want to just make sure you're not trying to do too much too early. So just allow your lawn to, you know, gradually wake up with the warmer temperatures. Dr. John Trappy is a turf grass extension educator for the U of M at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum. There's a, I would invite anybody to, uh, to check out the Arboretum right now. And yes, the Arb is exploding in color right now, but your lawn, he says, has just begun to wake up. Any winter kill or snow mold or thin spots do need some attention, but he says, don't overdo it. The slightest amount of work can actually give you the biggest boost. If that's the case, maybe you could go out and likely rake those areas up uh, or and or add some uh, seed to that area to uh, to overseed it to get it to fill in. Aeration, he says, can be done now, but it is best done in fall. It's likely already too late to put down any pre-emergent herbicides, so don't worry about that. And if you do have winter kill on shrubs or bushes, he cautions not to trim those now. Wait until June because it can be too stressful to prune too early. And when you do start mowing the lawn in the next week or two, also remember the same thing. The less you cut, the better. Uh, just focusing on mowing according to the one-third rule where you're not mowing off too much of the leaf surface at any given time. Uh, raising the mowing height uh, as much as you can. Uh, we recommend three to four inches. And now, again, in that same vein about mowing the least amount possible, no mow may, he said, is uh, debatable. The science is unclear at this point. Uh, so, again, uh, mowing the smallest amount of grass possible. If you wait till June, you're mowing too much of the grass. It can hurt it. They prefer that you mulch the small amount of clippings into the yard, and you can't do that if you're mowing a month's worth of growth all at one time. And he said, too, it's unclear that it has actually beneficial for pollinators in the yard. The best thing to do for pollinators is to plant more perennials because that's what they prefer. Live in Edina, Rob Olson, Fox 9. All right, Rob.